Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll discuss more about storyboard references, and how to use it to make our interface builder even more compact. In particular, our main storyboard containing the tab bar controller looks quite complicated. It can be hard to manage when the project grows. It might be a good idea to manage each of the view controllers using a separate sh using a separate a separate storyboard. In that case, we don't want this main storyboard to contain everything as of now. Rather, we put each UI view controller in a storyboard and make this main storyboard manage the tab bar controller only. To do so, for the home view, select the home navigation controller. Then, as before, in the editor menu, choose refractor, refactor to storyboard option. Now, choose a descriptive name, like Home Storyboard. All right, great. The Home Navigation Controller is now in a separate storyboard. The new storyboard reference now points to this initial view controller by default. But there's no need for this initial view controller. So in its, identi so in its identity inspector, let's set its storyboard ID to like, um, p please feel free to come up with your own choice. Here we choose navigation home. Now tell this new tell the new storyboard to point to the object with this storyboard ID. We no longer need this to be the initial view controller. Go back to the main storyboard. Select the new storyboard reference, which was automatically labeled home, then set its reference ID in its attribute inspector to the storyboard ID of the home navigation controller. Alright, great. Let's run the app to see if things are working correctly. Everything should be working the same. We just want to make sure that we don't that we don't mess things up after we reorganize our interface builder. All right, let's see. Good, everything is still working fine. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the rest. This is the Discover Navigation Controller. Select it, then choose the Refactor into Storyboard option in the editor menu. Then name this Discover Storyboard. Again, in this new storyboard, we'll delete the arrow saying the Discovery Navigation Controller is its initial view controller, because we're going to use reference ID. In the Identity Inspector of the Discovery Navigation Controller, set its storyboard ID to something like Navigation Discover. Then go back to the Attribute Inspector of the new storyboard reference to tell it that Navigation can discover should be what it points to. All right, great. Let's move on to the next one. Feel free to do it yourself. It's kind of te tedious to follow the lecture now. All right, this should be camera storyboard. Inside this new storyboard, de delete the initial view controller arrow in this new storyboard. Set the storyboard ID for this camera navigation controller to like navigation camera. Okay, now copy it. Let's see. Back to the attribute inspector of the new storyboard reference and let it point to the camera navigation controller. All right, now the next one. Select the Activity Navigation Controller and refactor it into a new storyboard named Activity. Get inside this new storyboard to delete the initial view controller arrow. And set a storyboard ID for the Activity Navigation Controller in its Identity Inspector. As before, we use Navigation Activity. Go back to the Attribute Inspector of the Activity Storyboard Reference and point and point it to the Activity Navigation Controller. All right. All right, good. Now the last one. Factor the Profile Navigation Controller into a new storyboard named Profile Storyboard. All right. Inside this new storyboard, delete the initial view controller arrow, and then set a storyboard ID for the Profile Navigation Controller like navigation profile. Now, the last step is to link to this navigation profile in the attribute inspector of the new storyboard reference. 
All right, no more tedious work. Thanks, guys, for staying with me. Okay. Looks pretty neat, right? Or if you don't like this arrangement, here's another flavor. This is purely subjective. Some like this and some like the other. Your projects will be much more manageable with storyboard references. Let's step back and stare at our project now. In the start storyboard, we have the login and sign up view controller, and some segues from them to the target, the main star storyboard reference. This storyboard reference points to the tab bar controller in the main storyboard. In the main storyboard, we have the tab bar controller. Each tab bar item now corresponds to a storyboard reference, which points to the corresponding navigation controller. So, each navigation controller is now organized in a separate storyboard. For example, the home navigation controller is now in the home storyboard. Similarly, the discover navigation controller is in the discover storyboard. Organize the interface builder is great for team projects. Each member can take care of a part of the project without worrying about the conflict integration emerging. All right, the app is running. Let's check it out. Okay. All right, fantastic. See you next time.